Okay, year five, hello, I'm here filming myself. It's like some technology miracle. <laughs> um, I've actually figured out that the iPad has a stand. So anyway, I'm gonna read some more of Flat Stanley. Uh, we're on chapter nine, The Way In. From each little house, on each little street, the tyrants came. Every man, woman and child, even Captain Ick with the guard from the jail. The rain had stopped and the evening light shone gold on the brown field in which the tiny people stood assembled. President Ott addressed them. Fellow tyrants, I must confess that your government has deceived you. The truth is, it will be at least a year before our fields and streams are fit again. Cries rose from the crowd. We will lie to. Lordy, talk about bad news. We'll starve. Shoot the scientists. Wait, shouted President Ott. We are offered refuge on earth, if the voyage is possible. Pay attention, please. Stepping forward, Mr. Lambchop read aloud from the booklet that had come with the Star, Star Scout. Your spacecraft has been designed for safety as well as comfort. Use only as directed. He raised his voice. Do not add weight by bringing souvenirs aboard or by inviting friends to ride with you. Cries rose again. That did it. We're not souvenirs. He said no friends either, stupid. We've had it, looks like. Mr. Lambchop raised his hands. There is still hope, but you must all be weighed. Also, the supplies you require for the trip. The Star Scout's bathroom scales set down in the field proved too high for the tyrants, and the weigh-in was briefly delayed until Arthur, using the Monopoly board, made a ramp by which they could easily mount. General App barked orders. Right then, groups of 20 to 25, families together, and don't jiggle. The ox and six of the families marched up onto the scales beside which Mrs. Lambchop stood with a pad and pencil. Seven and one quarter pounds, she said, writing it down. Next, shouted General App, but the ox group was already starting down and another marching up. Group after group mounted the scales. There was jiggling due to excited children, but Mrs. Lambchop took care to wait until the needle was still. Within an hour, the entire population of Tyra had been weighed, along with its supplies of tin food and frizzola, and she added up. Tyrans, 239, she announced. Food and frizzola, 140. Total, 379 pounds. Are we saved or are we too fat? Came a cry. Too soon to tell, Mr. Lambchop called back. We must see how we can lighten our ship. A good start was made by dis discarding the Star Scout's dining table and one steel bunk, since Stanley and Arthur could easily share. Then out went Stanley's tennis balls, extra sweater, and his chief pilot zip jacket with the American flag. Out went Arthur's knee socks, raincoat and a plastic gorilla he had smuggled aboard. Mr and Mrs Lambchop added their extra clothing, lamps, kitchenware, the Monopoly game and at last the posters of Mexico and France. The crowd stood hushed as the pile was weighed. Somewhere a baby cried and its parents scolded it. 377 pounds, Mrs Lambchop announced. Oh dear, she whispered to President Ott. Two less than we need. I see. Mr Ott, after a moment's thought, climbed up onto the scale. Good news, tyrants, he called. Almost all of us are saved. Cheers went up and then someone shouted, What do you mean, almost all? We weigh as a nation a bit too much, President Ott explained. But only four, if largest, Need to stay behind. I shall be one. Will three more volunteer? Murmurs rose from the crowd. That's my kind of president. Leave Ick behind. How about you, Ralph? Ask somebody else, darn you. The matter was quickly resolved. I won't go without you, dear, Mrs Ott told her husband. And Captain Ick 
hoping to regain popularity, announced that he too would remain. General App was the fourth volunteer. Just an old soldier, ma'am, he told Mrs. Lambchop. Lived a full life. Time now to just fade away to... Hey, wait! Arthur was pointing to the scales. We forgot that, he said. We can leave the scales behind. Now nobody has to stay. To be continued. Chapter 10, Heading Home.